You won't find Arnold Fruman's name in the credits of the House of Cards, but his company, National Lumber, has built many of the sets for the Netflix series. He's okay with the anonymity, but knows what it means to his bottom line. We saw a tremendous spike in business because uh, it allowed uh, House of Cards and Veep to film. Uh, and particularly in the wintertime when our business tends to get slow, it was a fantastic boon for us. When a production comes out of their stage and on location, they usually spend somewhere about $250,000 a day. So all that money goes towards small businesses, paying the employees, um, locations. Um, every time, uh, every day they need a catering area or a holding area, churches benefit, um, places that you don't normally think about. We're shooting in Baltimore because A, it's proximity to Washington, D.C. It's easy to shoot here. There's great crew, great locations. Location is very important, sure. In both Veep and House of Cards, you know, we're doubling for the nation's capital, which we do that very, very well, the architecture here in Maryland. Um, and then they can go down to D.C. to get the beauty shots, to get the monuments and that sort of thing. But also, they know we've got a quality crew base. They know we have great actors here. They know they have the support services here and again the incentive program and again 2200 uh, hires for house of cards 1800 businesses for house of cards season one so it's a tremendous tremendous economic impact to the state homicide is just one of many productions that have been based here in baltimore and long after it's gone it's still a tourist attraction the reason there is more filming in maryland is the state's decision to implement a four percent tax credit according to the maryland film commission over the last two years, the state has seen $237 million in economic impact. Who's benefited? More than 1,800 businesses. It's put the state in a unique position that other states are trying to implement. When you're successful, then all of a sudden you attract crew. People from out of state are going to want to move here. You attract support services that may want to move here. And that increases your tax base and that increases, you know, Maryland's economy. From Fruman's perspective, he hopes that all that extra business at the lumber yard stays right here. I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.